We're all used to the modern desktop, but let me take you back. Well, a bit further than that. Little further. Okay, that's perfect. But we're not trying out a Microsoft operating system. We're trying out something from... Acorn, not Apple. Okay, perfect. This is RISC OS 3.11, meant to be run on the Acorn A5000. Let's check it out. So here we are finally with an OS that isn't a version of Mac or Windows and it's not even a Linux distro. RISC OS was made by Acorn and designed to run on the ARM chipset which Acorn developed while making RISC OS. And just for your info, RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computing. Anyway, here it is. What do you think? What OS does it look the most like? It definitely looks like an early OS. I don't know, it's kind of Windows than Mac, I will say, because of the fact it looks as if it's actually got a taskbar at the bottom and um, desktop icons at the top there. So when you're comparing this operating system from Acorn, remember this is made in 1992. Okay? Oh, that just brings back memories. The year I got married to your father, at the age of 19 too. <laughs> And I'm 19. Oh, but you're not getting married at that age. Okay. At the time, this is what Mac looked like. It was competing with this. What do you think? Does it look similar? It does. It does actually look very similar. Um, but it's got a more Windows taskbar at the bottom. Okay. And this is what Windows looked like back then. Oh, is that what Windows looked like yep, back then? Yep, that's what Windows looked like back then. It didn't even have a taskbar. You know what? I'm wondering if whether they because copied this Risk OS. had the taskbar first type thing, I wonder if Windows got the idea from them. And when you think about it, think about the Apple dock with all the items at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Did Apple have the dock back then? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. So maybe Mac and Windows took something from this. Okay. And also remember... Look at the Windows 7 taskbar and compare it to that. Look, this is these big icons. What do you notice at the Windows 7? Well, this is a Windows 8 taskbar, but pretend it's a Windows 7 taskbar. What do you notice on the taskbar? Yeah. Big it, icons. Yeah. So it's, it's very similar to what operating systems look like today. Just on first impressions, it looks advanced for its time. I'm just wondering, since RISC means reduced instructions, I wonder whether it'll be more intuitive than other operating systems I've looked at. It doesn't actually mean instructions as in, like, you know, RISC user guide, like, instructions on how to use it. It actually means, um... It's the CPU design strategy based on the insight that simplified instructions can provide a higher performance. This simplicity enables like much faster execution of each instruction. So it's more faster as in, in the instructions oh, set of the computer. To what your command Kinda, to yeah. Okay. And it is oh. on an ARM processor rather than like a 32-bit like what we've got in our computer. So ARM processor is what's running on the iPad, for example, or even phones. Okay. Now if this was Windows 95, what would you call this screen here? This is the... Desktop. Desktop. Well, yeah. this isn't called the desktop in RISC OS. Why this not? is actually... Well, it's, it's just not. It's called the pin board. The pin board. Yep, so this is the pin board you're looking at. And this here, what would you call that? The taskbar. No, it's not called the taskbar in RISC OS. It's called the icon bar. Oh, so this God. is the pin board and the icon bar. So these aren't icons. Well, those are kind of only, icons. Only those, if you put those on that, will they be called icons? I, I'm wondering what they're called now. Let me just quickly check info. It's called the backdrop and icon bar utility. I'm not sure if they're called icons or not. Let's just... What time is it? Uh, it is 10.02 a.m. Just a note, because I know this is going to cause a lot of fights and debates. What doesn't cause fights and debates and on, on our channel? When it comes to comparing this to, like, the Windows 7 taskbar or, in a way, saying that, like, Microsoft stole the taskbar I idea didn't say from that. here. I just said, who knows, that's my, where they may have got their inspiration from. I know, but we can't actually say that because Microsoft has specifically stated that even though this did exist, in fact, in their earlier system, 1987, RISC-OS, so yeah. this is 1992, they had this five years ago, this yeah. icon bar. In 1985, Windows 1.0, so two years before this existed in RISC-OS, 
it had a kind of taskbar, but it was removed in Windows 3. Point oh, something. So it really? kind of had one. It was it had these icons in it. So when you minimized yeah. the program, it became an icon in the bar at oh, the bottom. I see. So then again, Risk OS may have taken it from that. From that, yeah. Okay. Yep. And don't say, like, the Apple dock stole this. We'll stay out of that kind of discussions. <laughs> if you know the Mac dock at the bottom with all the programs, people say that Windows stole the Mac dock, see, because that's, like, almost yeah. a dock. There's always fights about this stuff. Anyway, before we start any fights, let's write, save, and open a text document. Maybe to document these fights. <laughs> okay. Apps. Look at that. <laughs> Apple App Store. Nah. Not those kind of that. I found the calculator for when you ask me to calculate. Can't seem to find a like an oh edit. Wonder if that's got a picture of a pencil. What's that? Doesn't do now, it. Now how are you feeling? Puts it, there. it put it there. Now I'll tell you what this is. This shows you what programs are currently open, just like the taskbar would. So it's saying that edit is currently open. Where is it if it's currently open? I can't see it. We'll try and get it to open. I'm not telling you anything. Just keep trying. So oh. Oh, you've opened it twice now. Oh, okay. Oh, good. It's it, oops. It's it's got an X. Yep. It's got an X. Yeah. And it's saying that this is the untitled document. Now let me tell you before you continue how this works. Press X on that. On this one. Yep. Notice it's still saying it's running. Yeah. X hides in a way. This actually, as soon as you open something, it'll put it in the taskbar so it's running, but it doesn't actually show it on the screen. To show it on the screen, you've got to click this. But that's silly because that's that's doing two things. If I'm selecting that, that means I want it open now. It mm. doesn't mean that I want it there so I can then open it there. But this is almost like a quick launch. So let's just say I open draw, right, and calc. Yeah. That means, okay, whenever I want to open these things, these will stay there and it'll be like, okay, here we go, let's open that, that, and that. So in effect, you're, when you double click something from the app, yep. you're putting it there. Is it there permanently, even if, when you turn the computer off? We could try that, but I'm not sure if it is or not. I just know that that is not just a shortcut, it is actually running, because if you actually go, oh, and this scrolls, by the way, so if it gets really big, see, that'll scroll. If you look at this here, um, this, don't worry about what this is, but this is showing you the programs that are currently running and oh. how much memory they're using. Yeah. See that? It's saying that the pin board, which is this, is running. It's saying that the edit and draw an and calculate. Yeah, the alarm is running. It's always running because that's part of the clock. Oh. So since the clock's running, the alarm is also oh, running. Okay. It's showing calculated. Does that mean it's waiting for our next calculation? It's preparing for us to calculate? It's showing calculated because I opened it. Oh, okay. You see, so anything, yeah. Because these things are all open. These are all the programs that are currently running. Yeah. See, the pin board, this is actually a program. I will open that up. There we go. And now how do you save that? I wouldn't have a clue. I wonder if this is save over here. Oh no, it just makes it absolutely <laughs> enormous. Um, how do I make it small again? Same thing. But what's this then? If that's mid... Oh, that puts... But to, the, to the back. Oh, I see. So that's like and saying, yeah, you up. want to put something behind Well, I don't yeah. want to close it. Do you like how it has a close it. button? Notice Windows didn't have a close button at this time. Oh, right. Windows, yeah, you I had to like click that. a little thing, then you scroll down to close. Yeah. But the only problem is this doesn't seem to have a save. That's so what would it be in Windows? You would usually notice like a little title bar at the top with file, save and yeah, all of that. Yeah, but this doesn't have it. It's got a title bar, but My it's files. not a title bar. I was thinking if I click on that, it'll mm. show that this file is open, then I could save it somehow, but it's not. No. There's a program here I just want to show you called Help. See if it helps you with your problem. Let's say you needed help. Well, to tell the truth, either. No, Good, that's, that's, a, a user guide. that's a user guide where it's a big manual that you read, an instruction manual. That's a live application kind of thing. So open it up, double click. See, now you've got your cursor over this. This is the help, interactive yeah. help. But it's saying it puts, depending on what you've got your cursor over, see, if you put it on this, it's oh, saying this is this or apps. See, it tells you. Well, it's not telling me how to save it. Well, what's it telling you to do? Click select to set the car carrot. Yeah. What does that mean? It ha they haven't even spelt carrot right. No, <laughs> that's a carrot. What is? That orange thing. It's a cursor. No, it's a carrot. That's what you call a carrot. Okay. That's a cursor. That's a carrot. Okay. Even in Windows, it's called a carrot. I didn't know that. So drag it's not helping select you. Select to set a selection. What's drag select? Dragging select is like this. See? And then I selected a selection. 
click drag adjust to adjust the selection well we don't need to adjust it it's right where it is see yeah so that's saying what you can do and if you put your cursor up here this is the title bar see see it's saying you can click and drag the window around so do you think that program's helping you or not it's well, telling you this is the title bar you just click and drag it around well it's not telling me how to save it it's telling me how to do other things but i don't want to do other things the things that it's telling you to do is stuff you already know you know how to highlight text yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how okay. to move windows yeah. around yeah you put it over the help this window displays help messages. <laughs> well, I don't so consider it, helps it very. You with the help. I don't consider it very helpful. Okay, so you probably wouldn't use help then. Well, not in this instance. Okay. Maybe it'll be helpful for other things, okay. but not in this one. What would you usually do to bring up a drop-down menu on the desktop? You know, when you change background and stuff, what do you do? Oh, right click. Yep. Right click. I just did. And it doesn't do it. No. We don't usually use right click when it comes to Acorn's Risk OS. They left use click? no, not left click, middle click. Middle? What's middle click? You know when you've got a mouse and you've got the scroll wheel thing? Yeah. Press the scroll wheel down. In a trackball case it's this, is middle click, any of those. Oh, that's middle click. And that will bring something up. Oh that You get it? Yeah. Okay. But you're not saving the desktop, you're saving the this. So how would you save this? Oh, so you have to Middle click, click there, that. and that brings up a little menu. Now, save F3. Now, oh, now to name it. Yep. Text will do. Text, yep. Okay. Now, to save, drag the icon to a directory display. Maybe to my files? So, open your files up. Double click on it. Yep. <sighs> Won't let me get it. Now, what it's that. done is to point it's out. Trapped me. To point out that this is like. A message has popped up. It won't let you get away from the message till you've dealt with the message. So oh, okay. the mouse is trapped in the message. Yeah, I saw that. Um, so, so I have saved. Yeah. Oh, no, you I haven't. Oh, Do you need a clue? I need to drag it. No, no, don't, don't cancel. Click cancel. Okay, I'll show you that what you do. Uh, what about if I just click save? It had. It the doesn't option. work. It keeps coming up. It's telling you how to save it. So let's just say here are your files, right? And right now you've only got a README file. Yeah. And you're like little. This is like your documents folder in Windows. To save it, you right click, you do your little save, and also that comes out. See how you can pop yeah. menus out like that? So yeah. it doesn't pop out when you're there. You actually have to move across move to across make it right. pop out. And the menus themselves. Look at what you can do. You can move them around. Yeah. The things that pop out. Anyway, why would so you save. want to do that? What's the point of that? I don't know. Now let's just save this. <laughs> so give it a name. I did text. Would well, give it a name again. Text again. Okay. So what you do is you click with the left mouse button and drag it into your files. There's text again. Right. So to save it, you click and drag it to where you want to put. So it's almost like grabbing the file and putting it there. But what is this? This is your well, document. Shouldn't I put it in my files? This is your files. It is? Yeah, I think you've got a folder on your desktop, you open the folder up and oh, there's the and contents of your folder. Yeah. Well, why didn't I just drag it to that? I'm not sure if you can do that or not, we can try it. Yeah, it's so a lot how would simpler you... than this. Okay, so how would, you, how would you open it then? Go into your files to open the file. Okay, I'm in the file. Yep, so how do you open it? Now, I'll, right. I'll change a little bit. Yep, I'm writing... Changing. Uh, I'm no. writing Chamig. What's chamig? Changing. I want to save it, so I right click. You spelled oh, I mean, changing wrong again. Oh, Chaining. <laughs> I'm writing <laughs> this. This. Do. You don't like changing, so it says this, because you can't um, spell changing. Save. Yeah. Okay. Now notice what it did? I can't put it in. No, it saved, and it just overwrote that, because oh. it already exists. So since you click save, so you would have to have done it on a new file. Okay, well I'm going to create a new file now. Okay, so we've got another text of. Doc! <laughs> well, that's what you arrive. A text of. You can't spell changing, you can't spell doc. It's actually not 10.17am, <laughs> it's 10.17pm. You've got the... Actually, it's 8.18pm. 8, well, it feels like 10.18pm. Um, so we're in save. save. So go to save. Now, you can keep it as text file if you want. Yeah, and I'm going to so then stop, stop, move stop, stop, it. stop, not that. Why? The icon. The icon. What icon? You grab that icon. Oh, that. You can put it in there or you can put it in. I'm gonna... Let's see if it works. Oh, wait. Can we what? just have this? What? Close this thing first. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> but then that disappears. What's the point of that? <laughs> Say. Is this OS driving you a little nuts? Oh, there. The other thing's yeah. gone anyway. So yeah. now I've got that and I'm going to put it 
there. Well, I'm going to close. Yeah, okay. Oh, but I did. Double click that. Let's see if it's in there. Yep, you can't drag to it's a folder, not. so you have to okay. drag from there into to there. That. So yeah. you have to open that up first. Yeah. But you can open anything up, like you yeah. could open your DOS floppy. Let's just say that there seems to be too many unnecessary tasks in this. You're saying there's more steps than required. There's, yes, that's what I'm saying. So for example, you're opening something and then it goes there, then you've got to open it again yeah. in a way. And when you quit something, in fact, you don't, you, you, you've still got all these applications open. How do you quit them? You'll find out at the end how to yeah. do that. So just quit now. I just can't get out of these things now. So what's it saying to do? I don't know what it's, I'm we'll trying read to... it. Don't just keep clicking the same button and wondering why. Well, I'm trying to cancel it because I want to get rid of cancel that. Cancel means you okay, want to cancel. Save. <laughs> but you need to actually save it and you have to open oh, that up. Oh, no. <laughs> no, okay, okay, let me just show you. Save will make you save it and that means we'll going discard and dragging it. We'll discard it. Cancel will just mean cancel what I just did, which is yeah. pressing the X. Discard so, will discard, discard what you've just means written. Means go away. Okay. Bad enough. What is 504 divided by 12? Okay, well here we are at calculator. I've opened it. So five oh I wonder if I press this. Yeah, yep. it's still still yep. comes. Yep, five oh four what? Divided by twelve. And I don't like that O. Oh. Forty two. Fantastic. Now, this is gonna drive you insane. And change the desktop background. Well I know it doesn't do a right click. You center click. Center click, yep, middle click. And then uh, what are you gonna do? Tidy. Gridlock. And I'll give you another clue. The background is called the backdrop. Make backdrop. But well, it's grayed actually, out. You're not allowed to. Oh, why not? Because you can't. I'll give you a clue. You've right clicked on the desktop and you mm. want the desktop, what it currently is, to be the backdrop. You want the desktop background to be the desktop background. So the computer's like, huh? No. Oh, so you got to go to put. You got to put a picture up there, and then select that picture and say you want that as a desktop background, right? But how do you get the picture up there to begin with? <laughs> and uh, wouldn't that be just putting a background anyway? <laughs> We're discussing how it all began. The chicken out of the egg, and the oh, egg no, out exactly. of the chicken. What came first? Basically, if you go down to your hard disk, you'll find that there are some images and there's some bitmap images, there's some backgrounds and that's all I'm telling you. Bush, cloud, fence, glass, hedge, bush will do, but they all look the same. No, 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 that's just the icon, so that's what bush looks like. Doesn't look like a bush to me. <laughs> well, it's supposed to look like a mold. bush. Mould, I wonder whether this looks like mould. It looks it look the like... same as bush. <laughs> Try another one. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. Okay, so that'll be your background? Yeah. Okay, but make then it I've background. got to close these other things. Yep. Now, another thing I want to say, every time you open a folder, instead yeah. of changing the window, it actually opens the folder okay. in a new window each time. Okay, I've got time. it. So now I'm going to centre clink on it. Yep. New sprite. The sprite is a small image or an image. Well, how do I make it a big sprite? <laughs> there, there can be big sprites too. It's just currently a small sprite. Oh. Doesn't like that. So display, maybe display it bigger. Full? No, no. Give up. Okay, you've given up. So the way you officially do it is you've got to. Oh, wait a sec. Maybe maximise it. I know. I know. Make this thing go away. Push that out of the way. <laughs> Not this pushing out of the way again. Now. There oh, you go. Oh, but it doesn't make this thing bigger. Yeah, because that thing's small. Oh, well, how do you make it big? <laughs> with a lot of skill. Now, what you actually have to do... Maybe this makes it bigger by selecting no sprite okay, name. Okay, look, give up. I can't watch you do this anymore. What you actually do... You just got rid of it. Yes, because that's not how you do it. You get a picture. It's so we're going to drag it and we'll put it on the desktop as like an icon, okay? Right. Yeah. Now that we've done that, go. Oh, now I center click. Now it's on the icon, like center it's on the pin... It's, I keep saying desktop, it's on the pin Make board. Backdrop. So you want to make that the backdrop, yes. and you have made it the backdrop. Yes, a little bit boxy, but that'll do. <laughs> Better than the grey one. It's the backdrop why now. Don't, why don't they have a default actual picture instead of just a grey screen? I mean, it's capable of it. Let me just show you something. The computers back then, the colour system wasn't so good, so that's why they kind of made it grey. Right now we're looking at in 256 colours, which is the highest you can get. Most back then, is what you'd see is 16. 
which actually looks kind the of same. the same. Um, but there may have been the occasional person who had four, which... Looks the same. Well, color. actually, no, I haven't clicked change. I I'm just thinking, come on, this is not four colours. Like, okay, 16, now we'll change it. So this oh, is 16. So okay. it doesn't look No, it's awesome. got a bit greyed. Yeah. Like, this looks the same. I want to see the two colours do that. You one. want to see two colours? Yeah. This literally means it's only using 16 colours yeah. in the image. Well, let's use two. I bet it does yellow and white. We'll try um, four first. Change. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh, it's not even using colours, it's just using... Four shades of grey from white, light grey, dark grey and black. That's silly. It should use even the desktop actual icons, colours, like and yellow even, and... Even the taskbar at the bottom. Well, the icon bar. See, I'm so yeah. so Windowsy yeah. that I can't say this proper stuff. Okay, now we're really getting black and white here. Now let's try. Oh my goodness, two colours is literally black and white. Ready? Yeah. With no shades of grey. Yeah. This is worse than black and white TV, which had shades of grey. Ready? Here we go. Change. If only, if only life were black and white without shades of grey. <laughs> there we go. See, mm. black and white, and look That's at these terrible. files. Yeah, put it back up to. <laughs> 256, 256 colours. Much better. Lastly, let me just show you with this screen resolution thing. See how the re resolution is 800 by 600? Can you make it higher? You can make it higher. The resolutions are weird. Oh, well, do that one. No, don't do that. Because No, actually really don't because you'll stuff up because it's emulation. Um, what we would usually see on a computer like this computer, what this usually uses with my Windows 7, it uses 1,680 by 1050. These resolutions are really, like, for line computers, seriously. Well, that's a bit similar. How about yeah, we do that we, one? Well, we, we can't just because of the way I've got the... Do you want to know how I'm running RiscOS on this computer? I don't, but I guess the subscribers yep. would love to know. The computer right now is running Windows 7. Windows 7 is using VMware to run Windows XP. Windows XP is running a virtual Acorn computer, a virtual <laughs> A5000, running this. So you're in, th like, mul multiple layers of emulation here. I'm surprised it's but running why, so far. Why do, doesn't Windows 7 Windows do 7 it? will not run this. It's incompatible. Oh. So I've had to oh. double. So because it's incompatible with Windows 7, I've had to get Windows XP. So it's Windows 7 emulating XP, emulating yeah. this. Yeah. So that's quite a big process. This, this that's sounds... why I don't want to change the resolution because it'll just stuff everything up. It'll have to change it through two layers of emulation, oh, okay. which... Would just be so messy but the thing is when you go any higher than 800 by 600 yeah. the colors goes down oh it can't handle 256 colors right. on a higher resolution than this when we did this making backdrop thing you can also do a centered background like that oh that's quite nice too because that makes it not so not pixelated so squares and yeah, you can squares. also um do this is the last one now a background. What you could do, yeah. you could put lots of them this size and then have a great big meadow like that. with clear. Yeah, that's it. Yep, that's called tiled. Oh. It's funny how you knew what was about to happen. <laughs> I don't. Just... Like, you should be able to do this and then I just did it. That was just common sense to make it more pretty, like yeah. that size but lots of it. So you yeah. Go, oh, that's good. <laughs> so yeah, you've got tiled, which is this. Yeah. A centered, which is this one in the middle, or stretched, meaning that one's stretched I like out. This one. So this is how we'll have it. Okay. Yeah. It's almost like you're looking out of a, a window because it's like little. Yeah, yeah that is <laughs> it's interesting actually. Yeah. Okay, so you don't like the way of doing the background, do you? That was really hard. Yeah. You could do it with any image, but at yeah. the same time, well, look, you have to drag it to the pin board. Yes, I'm saying pin board. It was back in 1992 when I was married and I didn't have you, but let's pretend I had you anyway. I would just simply select a nice background. Yeah, and you'll never change it ever again. And never change it again. And ask you, get you to set it all up for me, and then I'm, I'm right forever. And if it was 1992, you would use that background exactly yeah, like that? I like it. With this like operating it. system? Yeah, with Windows 7 emulating XP, XP. emulating. Yeah, well, unfortunately, those operating systems 2001 and 2009 didn't exist. Anyway, the next task, and this is the last task before you turn off the computer. Notice how the taskbar scrolls? Yeah. That's like it's, a Mac. What? Doesn't a Mac thing go left and right? Oh, it gets really big as you put your oh, cursor over. So if I, let, let's say I was putting my disappear. cursor over, yeah, it gets them all big. Now, how do you close these applications? Because they're still open. They're all still open. Yeah, they're all open. They're hidden, but they're open. Well, I wonder if I left click. So left clicks open. And then, then. Try oh, drawing that. Oh, is this that. a drawing thing? 
Oh, okay. And yeah. look at this. This is. I'll show you the curves. See, you're making oh, curves. See that? Okay. Anyway, um, we'll quit that. Okay, so now close them. But left, I thought that's left how click you opens. Find it. No, left click opens it. And then X. X will just hide it. Oh. Or hide that instance. Well, what of about it. the Y? No. Y doesn't do anything. W doesn't do anything. Maybe center it. Center and quit. quit. Ah, there That's we how go. You do it. Yep. So you have to right click center the bottom quit. and quit. Well, I found it. Center Which quit. funny? That's how you do it on Mac. In the dock, when you close something, it's still yeah. open. So that idea is actually the exact but same I idea here. Although you I... don't center click in Mac, you right click in Mac and click quit. I wonder if I've mm. left them all on, yeah. turned off the computer. Whether when I turn it on again, would it have those well, things? Well, we'll keep that one. We'll keep this one open. We'll mm. turn the computer off, turn it back on, and see if that's still there. Okay. If it's still running. Just one thing. How do you turn the computer off? Uh, I don't know. Well, I've just center clicked, so it's obviously not there. What's that little acorn thing? Maybe that's something. Shut down. I center clicked yep. the acorn. Yeah. I found it. That's like instead of having yeah. a Windows symbol here. Yeah, it's almost you've like got a little it icon. There. Yeah. Warning from alarm. Does this always come on when you try no, to shut down? No, this because I set an alarm but I deleted the alarm. Okay. <clears throat> so discard? Yep. Computer is now ready to be switched off. And then restart so we can see if yep. that little thing's still there. Here we go. It's now on. It's off. off. It's gone. Oh, and my background's gone as well. Yeah. It's made the background strange, though. Okay. This is the... Default. Default for this virtual icon corn program I'm using. So what actually happens is when you turn the computer off, it actually wipes the entire hard disk. Oh. So I'm pretty sure that if we go to my files... Oh, it's actually... Text there. again it, is there. Yeah. It wiped the settings. So it wouldn't happen in the real thing. It just happened in this. Before we go away completely, yeah. how about I just do a bit of exploration here and just see You want to see some more things? Well, obviously I know that that's drawing, that's painting. Yeah. That's... What's the difference between drawing and painting? Well, drawing... Oh, wait a sec. Oh, yeah, that's so that. So that's that that's one with all these different drawing things. Yeah, so I'll just get rid of it and... And that's creating a sprite. So that's a confusing one that you don't really like. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what the files are, that's where you save things and help, I know you you highlight, you go over the yep. thing you want help with and yep. it tells you. That's a great big user guide. Like an instruction manual? Oh no. What's this is an mean? instruction manual for using the emulator that I'm using. This is oh. for using the operating system. What if you left click these things? Oh, that's how so you So left click that opens thing. it. If you right click it, well, right middle click it. Middle click it. You've got these new task, task display. Stuff I don't, yeah, yeah. that's fine. So. So what about some of the applications it came with? Yeah, that's by a default. good idea if I can get rid of that. Now, just wait, hard disk, I never need to go into that, do I? Well, click on it. And oh, look at look. that. that. That's a surprise thing. Like, that ah! must be really... Don't click this! Drive empty. Oh, it's ah! empty, that's why. <laughs> it's so scared. <laughs> ah! do, do, DOS floppy. There's no DOS floppy. We didn't have enough money for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Notice the dollar symbol? Yeah. Um, apps. apps. Well, let's let's check out the apps. So we've got the alarm. We've got a calculator. We've got characters. Notice because they're applications. They've all got exclamation marks, marks in front of them, telling you that they're an application. But yeah. since this is just a guide, it doesn't have an exclamation mark. Or Maestro. My doesn't. So that's some music yeah. thing. And look at this. You can set the music. So let's say you're writing music, and you go, you know, put that music there, that there, that Let there, me put a few. Let me put. Choose a few. different ones. I'm certainly not me. Oh, it made it go upside down. Oh, what? Why? How right do you click. click it? There? Normal clicks. See, and that's the music, and the person will go like up, down on the. Can we hear it now? What we've just I created? I don't know if you can hear it. I think it's just for making a sheet of music for someone to look. In modern computers But then stuff, how do you know how it sounds? You've got to play it on the keyboard, on a real piano. But I wouldn't know how to play it. That's why I want it to play it. To well, see what get we Windows 7 and get like um, some program that can do that on Windows 7. There are programs on Windows 7 and other operating systems, even Linux, that mm. you can just do the notes and it'll play it okay, in a well, guitar or anything. I don't like it because it doesn't play it. Well, it was a 1992 computer that didn't have such good sound. What do you think close-up does? Just guess. Um, a magnifying glass. Okay, double-click it. And now I'll open it from there. Yep, magnifying glass. Yep. 
Wait a sec. And so you... Oh, look at that. Oh. But what it does is it's actually wherever the mouse is, is what's displayed in there. See, oh. the mouse is on drawer, so it's displaying so drawer. So you don't have to get the magnifying yeah, and glass put it on and, stuff, yeah. and put it over. <laughs> yeah. I see. Cause oh, just but you cause can. Just cause, yeah, I know, but just because the mouse is at close-up, oh, that's see. why you're seeing it there. Okay, yep. So yep. we'll get rid of that. Squash. By do, the way, you were doing do you play squash couch before. Thing? I don't know. Open squash. I wonder what's oh, it squashes squash is. whatever's in the box. What's it doing? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Squash. It says squash apps when you right-clicked it. Well, that middle click there. Do info, see what it says, because it gives you... No, no. No, it goes away. <laughs> it doesn't even know itself. <laughs> go to the edge here. Here we go, info. File compression and decompression. So it's squash, it makes files smaller. So okay. instead of zipping, instead of like in Windows, you zip it. In this, you squash it. You squash it. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll get rid of the squash. Web, web... It's a web browser. Stuff. You're kidding, they had internet? Yep, see? Okay. But you're looking at your hard drive now rather than the internet. You could type in like www.google.com oh, to go to Google. Okay, so, so just delete keep, that. Go. I may as well just highlight the thing. Oh, uh, we've lost internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as you grab and do that, it just disappears. disappears. Okay. So you obviously won't be highlighting anything in that web browser. Maybe the internet connection wasn't good back then. So. <laughs> Just goes. Um, by the way, you tried calc. There's also science so, calc. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. I know what that looks. Yeah, Don't okay. worry about that. Um, Charles, what did we say Charles was? All oh. the characters on the computer. Okay. And just so you can see it, here is the user guide. So I'll just scroll down, see. And then you just click contents at the bottom here, and there we go. It tells you everything about it. Desktop. Mm. Actually. Why is it calling it the desktop? No, I don't know. <laughs> it just, but it's supposed to call it the pin board. It called it the pin... Trust me, it calls it the pin board. You right click on it. I looked it up. It says pin board. pin board. But it actually like says that it's the pin board. Like in this guide, you read down a bit further, it will say pin board. See, it calls it the pin yeah. board. See, the pin board, it allows you, you know, yeah, yeah. pin board adds another dimension to the desktop. Yeah. The pin board adds a dimension to the desktop. Oh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Well, what do you think of it? First impressions, I thought it was a bit ahead of its time because it looked a bit Windowish and Macish in relation to the future, you know, taskbar yep. and this and that. However, once I got to do tasks on it, I felt that there were too many unnecessary steps that really could have been much more simplified than that. So, let's just say it looked good, but it didn't function well. It, yeah, just too many unnecessary tasks to do a simple thing. Now remember, this is RISC OS 3.11 from 1992. Well, let's just say pretty good for 1992, okay, but... It's still a competitor to Windows and Mac today. Did Not Windows, this version, it's just continued. Tell me, the equivalent Windows and Mac version, yeah. did they have a lot of steps to just complete little tasks? Well, remember to close something on that Windows 3.1 thing, you would have to click that and then close. Oh, right, yeah, that's right. Um, and whereas this just closes automatically. Yeah. Okay. So. And the desktop in Windows 3.1 wasn't really the desktop you would think is in Windows 95. It was more of a things would minimise to the desktop rather than a taskbar because Windows 3.1 didn't even have a taskbar. Tell you what, just out of curiosity, yep. let me turn things around. Mm. If you were alive back in 1992 <sighs> and you had to choose a Mac, an Acorn or a um, Windows... Mac. Oh, wait a sec, did they have Linux back then as well? Linux just started forming. In fact, there was this guy, in, I, I don't want to say, this guy called Linus, and he said, oh, I'm just doing like a little project. It's nothing going to be big. I'm just making like this small little operating system. It's, it's not going to turn into anything, though. Mm -hmm. And now look what it's turned into. And this, that was but around... But there wasn't a functional operating system for Linux. I there was. Linux started in 1991 okay. and it was functional. Are you familiar 10, with that, one, that Linux one back then or not? Do you want to look at it? No, no, no. I'm just saying, are you familiar with it? I have no idea. I, no, I'm okay. sure it's text-based. Well, though. let's leave the Linux yeah. out of it then since you're not familiar with what it was in, back in 1992. Windows, Mac and Acorn. What would you Mac. have chosen? Mac. Mac back then I thought was the best because you click this, there's your programs. You click the program, it's open. You close the program, it's closed. Oh, okay. So, so and that's the close. It's not an X, but it's simple. You just yeah. open, there it is, close. Anyway, that'll be it for RISC OS 3.11 from 1992. I wonder what 
what risk looks like today. Maybe that'll be the next one I try out. Who knows? Okay, see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.